running a little bit late. We're heading to Kentucky. We have arrived to Kentucky. Even the airport's all pumped up for the big event. Okay, so we have arrived in Kentucky and my goal here is to take you along with this because this is one of those bucket list items that we've really been looking forward to and I want to share this with you, this experience and kind of show you the behind the scenes and what you would see if you're just traveling like us to the Kentucky Derby. First things first, we need to find Stephanie's hat and a lot of women, what they do is they will order their hats ahead of time from a local shop because nobody wants to travel with a big hat box instead they will order it and have it custom made at a local shop and then that shop will deliver it to the hotel you're staying at we're staying at this place called the galt house which is like the convention center of all convention centers for the derby tons of people are staying here the lobby is bustling uh, with everybody that's going in and out to the derby and everything it's just pretty wild but first things first we're going to go to this this large room where we're going to try to find stephanie's hat okay we've just entered the room with the hats because stephanie's ordered a hat so this is the room this is the room where it happened she's looking through all these boxes which I'm assuming there were probably a ton more because we've been seeing a ton in the lobby. So now we're just searching to see if her hat is here that she's ordered. Oh, yeah. Nothing yet? <laughs> oh, I'm Stephanie Graves. Oh. Hold on. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm not wearing the right outfit, so it doesn't make the statement it should. Whoa. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> it's a, a fascinator. You want to try it on or what? No, because it doesn't go with my... No, I mean, just to see what it might look like on somebody's head, because right now okay. it looks like it's just a stuff... Well, I know, but I don't want it to be on camera. It's well, fine, love. Just try it out. Oh, it has the... Oh yeah, that's working it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Stephanie, for giving me the opportunity to create this hat for you. Happy Derby. And how did you go about ordering that thing? She's here at the Forme Millinery Company Hat Shop in Louisville, Kentucky. So to tell you a little bit about why we are here, we're here with a group from UCLA. We're going to do several activities with that group. First thing on the agenda, we're going to go to lunch at a place called Captain's Quarters, which is right on the Ohio River, a beautiful location. It's actually, you pass through a marina, and it's one of the only marinas where the boats are, the boats actually go out to the Ohio River, and that's the, the boating ground. But a beautiful uh, restaurant location, we're going to go there for lunch. Now right after lunch, we ended up going to a place called the Sanctuary Farm at Chestnut Hall. This is a retirement home of sorts for retired racehorses. Now, just a side note, obviously this video is much different than my normal videos. My goal for this channel is to share things with you that you may not know in your everyday world, your everyday life. Uh, you may not know anything about uh, horse racing. 
uh, you may not watch the Kentucky Derby. So I want to share little things with you that may educate you and make it a little more fun uh, to have this uh, interest or maybe even watch the Kentucky Derby. So I'll tell you a little bit about horse racing in that horses will typically only run at a young age. So they start at two years old and they'll run in races until they're maybe six or seven years old, eight at the latest. But typically they will retire at age five or six. So this farm is a nonprofit farm and uh, there's several of these throughout the country, a lot of them in, in Kentucky, and they will take retired racehorses that no longer are on the track uh, to live out a, more, a happy life. Now also, did you know that horses can live to be 25, even 30 years old? So after that career as a uh, racehorse is over, they have a long time to, uh, to still live and to be cared for. So this place is just amazing. A lot of space for the horses, uh, beautiful greenery, uh, really a cool experience to see where these uh, horses live and how they, how they actually care for these horses after they're retired. Okay, our final tour of the day. Well, you can't go to Kentucky without visiting a bourbon distillery. The bourbon industry is huge in Kentucky. And by the way, bourbon is made from corn, 51% corn. So we go to this place called the Three Boys Farm Distillery, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, that's kind of the charm of it. It's really a, a smaller distillery. And we go there, and it was just a great time. They're having bluegrass music in the back, uh, the, the barrels. And we learned all about the, the making of it and the process. And of course, we had the tastings. That was pretty intense because I'm not really a bourbon drinker. All good. Thank you. You're welcome. And this particular bourbon we were tasting was straight out of the barrel, which is a lot stronger than your typical bourbon in a bottle. The bottled uh, bourbon at a store would be like 80 proof. This was 120 proof out of the barrel. It's very uh, hot. It'll burn your, it'll burn you. Burns. So that was the end of our tours for the day, an awesome day. Uh, and I'm, I just can't wait till tomorrow, the Kentucky Derby. Uh, it's actually 1 a.m. Friday night, and I'm trying to rush to get this video done so I can release it and have it done on Saturday morning, and hopefully you all can watch it uh, before the Kentucky Derby and maybe be a little uh, inspired or motivated to watch and uh, also a little educated about the uh, Kentucky Derby, which is what I want to end with. So a couple of things. First, the Kentucky Derby is just one race, but there's many races that have been going on uh, throughout the whole week here at the Kentucky racetrack uh, Churchill Downs. Actually, even today, Friday, they had a full day of racing, and usually it's like 10 or 12, even more races per day, but they'll have a highlighted race, which is the big, you know, uh, the big race of the day. So today, Friday, they had the Kentucky Oaks, and that's where the fillies run. That the fillies are the female horses, and they're the three-year-old horses. And uh, that is because typically the female horses are not as fast as the male horses. Now, every once in a while, we we will see a female horse run in the Kentucky Derby. Um, but nonetheless, they still have this um, race on Friday called the Kentucky Oaks, and that's where uh, the the best female filly horses will run. And then Saturday, the big uh, day of the Kentucky Derby, it's another day where there's at least 12, there's maybe 14 races. The whole day is racing. It's usually every half hour, but usually there are one or two big races um, that are kind of the big money races of that day. And that's what the Kentucky Derby is. Uh, it's like the, the headliner act you know, of that, uh, of that day of racing. Now there's 20 horses running in the Kentucky Derby. That's a bit unusual for the typical uh, horse racing. Uh, typically, if when I go to like Santa Anita, there may be like 10 horses in a race, but the Kentucky Derby has always been 20 horses. They're always three-year-olds. Uh, we're gonna go and we're gonna we're gonna enjoy the uh, the pomp and circumstance and the whole event. So it should be pretty awesome. And then I'll post a video about that experience as well. So anyway, thanks for watching. Definitely tune in to the Kentucky Derby, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.